Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as, ah uh, well we're going to play it as Dino of bum, ba, bum. Phoenicia, 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 who knows, Phoenix Town. Um, so we're going to be playing as Dido, we're going to be playing on Deity Difficulty. Actually, I do need to double check because sometimes my mods get auto updated and that's not good. Uh, definitely want to disable that and disable that. Is the only mods I want. Uh, it's, a, it's a really annoying thing. I don't like it that mods auto activate themselves. Kind of bothers me actually. It's a good thing that I remember to do that because sometimes I don't remember to do that when I'm creating a game and then I get screwed by uh, some random mod activating itself. So we're playing as Dido. I think we're going to go ahead and we played a couple of Pangea, a couple of continents games. I think I might want to try like an island plates game or an archipelago game. Um. I could do island plates. I could do. Uh, let's see. Shuffle is interesting. I haven't done a shuffle yet. I think I think we'd like to do either uh, island plates or archipelago. And I think uh, just for the sake of it, we're going to do uh, island plates. We're also going to start uh, with a regular old map size of small. Uh, everything else is going to be fairly standard and straightforward. I'm going to leave the number of uh, city states and disaster intensity to the regular level. Um, although I might, just for the sake of having uh, a little bit more of an interesting naval game, I might set the sea level to high so there's a little bit less land to play with. I think that could be fun. So that's going to be the only change I make. I'm going to be, there's going to be a lot less land than, say, a, a standard game. So we're going to be playing as Dido. We'll talk a little bit about her bonuses once we get into the game. Um... But yeah, completely random opponents, deity difficulty, island plates with high sea level. That's those are the only changes that we are making. Um, so uh, the the island map gives us a little bit of an advantage because we are a navally oriented civ with the Byream and the Cawthon unique district. But I don't think it's going to be an overpowering advantage. Um, so we'll talk about uh, Carthage's or is it? Founder of Carthage, Phoenicia, Carthage, whatever. Uh, we'll talk about her bonuses. Uh, the first one is they can move their capital to a city with a Cawthon by completing a unique project in the city. They get plus one trade route capacity for each government plaza building and a government plaza district, and they get 50% production towards districts in the city with the government plaza. That means we are going to want to have a rather large city with a lot of districts and the government plaza because that's just going to best take advantage of that. Uh, we also have the Mediterranean colonies, which means we begin the game with the writing technology Eureka, which is nice for a naval game because often you have time, uh, a difficult time meeting your opponents before you um, you hit your stride. As in, you hit your... Um, you often have a, have a tough time meeting your opponents before you get... Uh, what is the word that I am looking for? You often have a hard time meeting your opponents before you actually research the writing technology. So starting with writing is pretty nice. Coastal cities are uh, being founded by me and located on the same continent as our capital are 100% loyal. That's also pretty nice. Settlers gain plus two movement and plus two sight range while embarked. That's also really nice because it's again a naval map and settlers ignore additional movement costs from embarking and disembarking. We also have access to the Byream unique naval unit and the Cothon unique district, which we will talk about. Okay, looking at our immediate starting location, I don't hate this. Uh, it's not amazing. We are starting next to a volcano. I would be semi-tempted to re-roll this, but we are starting on a plains hill with some good production tiles nearby, so I'm going to accept this for what it is and just settle in place and then start exploring with this warrior. Now, um, what I'd really like to do is get to the Kothon as fast as possible. So that's going to involve um, going and getting two sea resources improved, which is going to lead into getting a builder fairly early. I don't think a... Um, in a naval game, going for a scout or a slinger or anything like that isn't as worth it as it normally would be. So I think we might skip that and instead go for a fast monument. I think that pays off pretty well in a naval game. And um, yeah, I wouldn't normally go for this monument, but I, I feel like in a naval game, uh, it pays off really, really well. 
because we typically uh, are going to have a limited amount of land to explore anyway and we are going to want to invest more into naval based units so we've pretty much explored all over here so we only have one direction we can explore now so again you know an extra unit probably wouldn't have really made that much oh dear it's a typhoon storm Nothing really negative happened because it didn't really hit anything. We're about to grow in population and that will involve us working now two really nice tiles. So we actually have, we have a really good early game here with these tiles and we will be looking to improve them later on. And plus they're grassland hills so we'll be able to put mines on all of this stuff if we so want. And I think I'll be tempted by that to keep these as mines. I might put a campus over here because that would have a really good uh, yield. And I th I'm also tempted to settle on the jade. And now I want to get a builder because we're close to getting sailing and I want to get to um, Celestial Navigation as fast as possible. And then I'm going to get a couple of galleys, do a little bit of exploration. We're also going to be going for foreign trade first so that we can build more boats because we might be able to get an early kill on either a player or a city-state. We're going to slap in the um, God King here. We have plenty of production and this, this is one of the few cases where a Pantheon is actually quite nice here. Um, if we can get the Fishing Boat Pantheon, it's really, really good. Excuse me, it's a really, really good map to get it on. And, uh... Uh, yeah, we might go for a religion. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I think we might skip a religion this game. I've been kind of toying with skipping religions more often. I usually always go for a religion. But I'm kind of tempted to start skipping it a little bit more. So we'll soon have another builder. And in terms of research, we would like to go straight for Celestial Navigation, but I think it would be good to pick up stuff like just some basic things, like being able to build mines, being able to reveal horses, for example, would be a really nice thing to pick up. Um, I think we could go for Astrology. We could also go for Riding. I think I would like to get an early campus up, so I think that's definitely something we're going to do. And we did find a natural wonder with faith on it which makes me feel like i could do a petra and um pyramid play we haven't really decided uh how we want to win because really dido is only really good at like naval domination and then like building up her empire really well so i'm really not sure how i want to approach the victory condition here but for certain we uh we're good the way that we are. Let's keep exploring. We aren't on fresh water in here, so we are going to be a little bit more limited in housing than we would normally be, which is where these builders come in. Okay, I'm not sure where that is coming from. So now we could get started on a Byream, or we could get started on a Settler. There's, qu there's quite a few options here available to us. We do have the builder to get the two fishing boats. Um, and I totally should have picked up mining, but it's a little bit late for that. Because we're going for the other stuff. A Byream wouldn't be terrible. This would let me explore. It would let me learn more about the world. Make better decisions. I could wait the seven turns and get foreign trade. And then build it uh, twice as fast. So what would I do in those seven turns? Well, I could get a settler. Quickly settle the jade. And uh, secure myself. Another city. I could also settle near this to get a little bit of extra faith. Um... And get this city built up for a potential Petra play or a Pyramids play. I don't know if this is a big enough desert to really justify a Petra play. Like maybe if I settled. Like right here. Put a harbor there and then a canal there or something. That kind of appeals to me. Um, alternatively, I could settle more this direction. Hmm. I could settle on this near the stone. I could, well, really what I'm trying to do is maximize the harvest and be on fresh water with this city if I can. If I can manage to be on fresh water and maximize the harvest that I get, then I'm in good shape. So I'm trying to like I'm trying to think of how how would I navigate this and how would I place myself in the game right now. Um, hmm. I don't want to crush any of the stone or the things. I don't. Well, you know, we could just skip the Petra, and then just use these tiles for districts. 
It's not a terrible idea. If I was to skip the Petra, I would just settle, like, right there on the sheep. Because it leaves open this terrain over here. I would settle on the sheep, it grabs all of these tiles. I would want to know what's down over there. Let's get a settler. I've made my decision. An extra settler early works out. I think I will buy this tile. I'll lock both these tiles in. Now it's going to be a bit of a toss up of whether we want the gold or the faith or whatever. I think we might go for the production or even the culture. We'll kind of have to make that decision next turn about what is really prudent. This gets me my Pantheon a little bit quicker, and I actually like the idea of getting my Pantheon a little bit quicker, so we will go for that. And I don't really have anything else I can build with this guy, so it might be worth it to do a little bit of builder exploration. And indeed, it worked out. We found Bandar Brunei. So if I settle here, we'll have some options. Yeah, I think we will settle the Jade. I don't know if that'll be my first city, but it will be a city. It's part of it. I do need to be careful with this builder because he can be killed pretty easily, so I don't want to explore too aggressively with him. I'll do like maybe a little loop and then come back. Hopefully this isn't too big of a piece of land. But finding somebody who gives us gold, Banner Brunei, is pretty nice. We also might be able to trade with them soon. There's foreign trade. We are going to slap in the 100% production towards naval units. And we're going to start bringing you back because you've done all you need to do. And uh, we're going to go for early empire. And we're not in a rush to get it, but we'll kind of make our way towards it. Let's let him attack us so that we can fortify. There we go. We're going to go settle on that for the extra culture. And now we are going to get ourselves a... Let's make sure we unlock this because we want the production more than we want the faith. And let's get ourselves a Byream in four turns. I think I will build two of those. We're going to just stay fortified. We're going to be ready here to improve these turtles to get the boost towards craftsmanship. Okay, good stuff. You survived. Settle on top here. Buy the turtles. Fishing boat the turtles. Work the turtles. It's a really, really, really nice tile. Um, and yeah. In here, we want to do what? We could get a Byram in here. Um, it would take a very, very long time. I think I would much rather get some infrastructure. For example, a granary. Coastal cities really do need granaries as fast as possible in order to let them grow up to their potential. We don't really have tiles that we can improve. Um... I would really like a trader at some point. I'm going to switch this over to craftsmanship. And am I going to be building a campus in this city? I don't think I'm going to be rushing out a campus in here. So... I think we're going to work on a trader because that's empire infrastructure. You're going to stay healing up. Writing is easy. Now that we have writing, we're going to take a detour and pick up astrology and celestial navigation. We're going to place this campus, because it's a plus three one, but we are going to finish the Byream first. Now the question is, do we kill Bandar Brunei, right? Um, is Bandar Brunei better as a city that we have conquered, or better as a city-state? I think it's better as a city that we've conquered. Uh, let's get plus one production from fishing boats. That makes our fishing economy a lot better. It makes me feel better about working them. And now I actually don't value the faith as much because we already have our Pantheon. So that means we'll also want to change God King. Now that we have two cities, the production is much more attractive. 
we will have another Byream. So I'm going to do a little bit of exploration with this Byream. I think I'm going to kill Bandar Brunei. Um, because it's basically like getting another city for free. We might also kill Cardiff. Yeah, we're going to be killing a lot of city-states this game. So that's the power of the Byream on a naval map. So let's get you guys into position. I think three Byreams should be enough. Let's get to work on uh, Early Empire. I do want to get that campus. Let's put a few turns into State Workforce. I want to kind of split the culture here. Oh no! I thought I could get in there. I didn't realize this was a thing. This is going to be a very difficult uh, war. Because it's going to be recovering health every turn. A physician without there's... Do you think there's also another uh, thing over there? Keep doing damage. Kill that slinger. Get your heal. You back up and heal. You get in there and do damage. More Byreams. Heal up. This is an unfortunate occurrence where our conquest of the city is being delayed due to just some awkwardness. We'll take we'll take a moment to heal up. We'll send the next Byream over to fight and start cutting into the health again. This wasn't this wasn't what I'd wanted. I didn't want to be spamming. I thought two would do it because I'd be able to attack it multiple times a turn. Let me see if I can select the one with full health. There we go. Yeah, I thought I would be able to attack this with multiple Byreams. But that unfortunately did not work out the way I'd hoped. Let's go take that out. We completed the trader. I want you to trade with the capital. Then I want you to get me a settler. Let's keep doing damage to the city. Keep going. Keep going. But we have... Uh, we are getting good experience on them. I think this is going to be my last um, Byream that I build. It should be enough. This honestly already should have been enough. Um, let's get one more attack in. You block there. And now we're going to build the campus. I admit to skip state workforce, but we'll go for that. You heal up. All right. So now we want to get the Kothon, like there. We're going to prioritize getting the Kothon up because it gives us a boost towards getting settlers. Need a population of seven or greater. That means we definitely want a granary in here. To keep us growing. I should have moved my thingy over there too. Uh, There's a mistake maybe. Because now we're going to have to we're gonna have to get the government plaza over here I think. This is far from an ideal spot to get it. Oh well. That's the way we have to do it now. Because we want to get the thing that gives us a boost towards settlers. We want to maximize how many settlers we can get. I'm also going to go ahead and take the free inquiry. And uh, we'll go ahead and get shipbuilding. We are going to appoint Pingala, I think. To make sure that our science and culture are strong. 
I didn't think this through. I, I forgot that I was coastal and I would have a harder time growing my cities, but Banner Brunei should fall here in a sec. Okay, there is land surveyors. I would meant to slot in the production card. I kind of forgot about that. I don't need this anymore. Conscription would suit me better. Save me a lot more gold. You have a level up. I should have pulled you off. I think I could take two of these guys out to go kill Cardiff now. And then we'll get to work on political philosophy. I'm going to see if I can swing you up here to meet this city-state. I want to try and meet it with this guy so I get the boost for political philosophy. We are going to promote Pingala. First, we will get the uh, the culture one. Next, we'll get the science one. All right. Let's swap because you already have a level up. And I'm going to prioritize... Hmm. I like the movement. I, I like to have at least one guy who's movement and sight ranged oriented. There's the boost people are looking for. There's another uh, thing there. Too bad I don't have a thingy. You're going to pull back and heal up. Let's get in and around here. We'll declare war on Cardiff next turn. Hopefully they don't have archers yet. That would be a pain in the ass if they did. TBH. Let's take a moment to heal up. Declare war. Let's work on killing these. There we go. We took Bandar Brunei for ourselves. Let's repair that monument. We will keep this city. You swing over here. We found Saladin, also known as Salad Mount. He is not coastal, so we'll have a hard time killing him. They have no archers, which is good news for me. I have healing available. You take a moment to heal up. All uh, right. Campus Lighthouse. I need another unit to fight up over here, so I'll go ahead and grab that warrior. You do a little exploration for me. You're gonna swap out and heal. Very good. Open borders sounds good to me. Whoop. You back in. You're going to heal now. You're going to attack. You're going to attack. And then I'll swap you out for this guy and he'll attack next turn. And you're coming this way. Timing on this guy arriving is very, very poor because it's just before I'm ready for him. Uh, we'll put a turn into a settler. But then we need to build the thing. We're going to promote Pingala with the sciency thing. Yerevan is off the coast, sadly. Politics is the art of the possible. Government unlocked. I think I'm gonna go for... Naval melee combat strength and oligarchy. And then we're gonna slap in... Production towards settlers. And... This. Sorry, this charismatic leader. You're gonna swap here. You're gonna clean this up. There's Cardiff. I'm gonna take some time to heal up on these guys. We will repair the monument. We will keep the city. Probably angering people by doing this, but it's fine. We've done a good job. We got that. I kind of missed that. I was a little bit too focused on my other objectives to actually really catch that. And now... We're in a good shape, right? We've conquered two cities. 
we have four cities by turn 52. We almost have our 150% uh, production bonus towards settlers. We just need to get the ancestral hall up. Um, so what is going to support this city's objectives? Well, the lighthouse would give it a lot more food. The... Um, we could get another trade route. We could get another trader, we could get more byremes. I don't think more byremes is the answer. We could start working on settlers. I think working on settlers now would be fine, even if we don't well, we want to wait for the ancestral hall. I kind of wish I had not built the capas here and had built the ancestral hall in here. A little bit of a mistake on my part. A very small little thing. Well, it's actually pretty big. Um because I could have been building this uh, you know, 30% faster, which is not that much faster, but still. Um, what I could do is, do I have mining? I don't have mining. I could pick up mining. Send a builder from the capital to chop this hill to get this a little bit quicker. It would speed it up a little bit. And that's kind of efficient, I feel. Um, in the meantime, we are going to get military tradition for flanking bonuses on our combat units. Now in here, uh, we don't really have great spots for Kothons. Is a plus two right here or a plus two out here? I feel like a plus two here works a little bit better. It's kind of secluded, kind of secure. They can't do anything to it. And we're going to keep exploring with these boats. We want to look for easy pickings. A card is probably going to be a little bit too hard to take. But we'll have to kind of see about that. We want to look for cities that are going to be easy pickings games and recreation in terms of what we want to do next we definitely want to get naval tradition we are going to want to build a quadrium at some point um it might even be good now if i remember correctly quadrireams only have a range of one so yeah they're not great at taking out cities but What we could do is just work towards that direction. So let's get games and wreck. Haven't really decided how I plan to win this game. It'll probably be like some combination of science and domination. Who deserves more credit than the wife? There is a Norway in this game, which does make things a little bit more interesting. The Viking longship is quite strong. Uh, right. So let's pick up shipbuilding now that we have mining. We did finish mining, right? Let's... Yeah, 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 we finished mining. Okay. Right. Do we go for a card? Can we kill a card, do you think? With only a single space? I mean, we did it before. The only problem is if they get an archer or they get walls up, then it gets really tough to block this scout from getting back to his camp. So we've pushed him into a corner now, he's dead. Um, so now we need, to, we need to make more decisions about what our plans are with these cities. Do we go for Kothons? Do we go for Holy Sites? I think all the religions are gone at this point, and indeed they are. It's unfortunate. So there's no chance of us going for a holy site, but, you know, we, we made a conscious decision to skip a religion this game. I really wish they would just... I, maybe, maybe it's part of the game balance, but I really do wish that every Viv could get a religion. I think it would make the game more fun. Um, because you almost have to just go for a religion straight from the beginning, but, you know, it's, a, it's only a small complaint. Um, I, could, I, I guess I could mod it. I would like to know more about this island, so I might just grab a scout and just use it to kind of explore a little bit. Um, question. Are we attacking a cod? And I think we are. I think we're gonna go kill a cod. Um, we'll declare war next turn. A little bit closer. Nobody's allied with it. Yeah, yeah. 
So we're just, we're going to be killing we're killing city states, right? Because we need to translate these biremes into settlers, right? Because we built them instead of building settlers. So that's kind of what we need to do. We need to get them to uh, pay for themselves in terms of. I need to try and keep this guy trapped. He's going to go there. Okay. I'm going to pick up animal husbandry. Then I'm going to work on... You were coming down here to chop out the city's production. I could purchase a granary in here if I had a little bit more money. Um... I would like to get a couple of quadrireams. I would have to change my government to get them efficiently. What could I do in the meantime? I could get started on a Colossus. I don't want to kill that. Uh, I guess I could get the campus. A little bit of extra science is really, really nice. And it kind of syncs up nicely with some of the other stuff I'm doing. Because I don't want to build settlers yet until I'm getting the full advantage. That's odd. That is coast, but it looks like deep water. Interesting. It's very interesting. It looks like we found the south and north of the map. Right, let's just get the war declared. But again, the good news is we're getting lots of promotions on our boats. Which means these should translate into uh, a fairly powerful military later. My seas are all unprotected. I literally have just boats, dude. <laughs> I, it's all I have. I don't understand. Okay. Um, I'd rather spread the experience around a little bit. But I'm going to attack until you're out of health. That extra four combat smith. I did not mean to go for archery. Um... I definitely would like to get to cartography at a certain point. So let's pick up currency now. You may as well explore this way just to figure out what's going on on this island. Um, let you hang out there. So I normally, normally wouldn't kill city-states, but I just made the decision to in this game. Because we need to get more cities before we start building settlers. Because we're doing a, a settler strategy where we go for a... Um, where we're delaying our settlers, we just get one city and then delay until we have the Kothan and the government district and the, the this, that, the other. Yeah, I'll do a trade deal with you, that seems fine. You can have my diplomatic favor, I don't really care about it. Um, we'll do one more attack. No, you've lost enough health to justify, so you go back, then you're going to take Embalon. Too bad these guys can't coastally naval raid. Let's take a moment here to heal up on these guys. If bread is the first There's more barb camps appearing. I think one appeared there. So let's slap in the maritime industries and see if we can't get a couple of quadri rooms out before the uh, this is done. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to oh, probably just get one out. Let's queue up like this. Let's get the campus, then a quadrireme, and then all of the settlers in the universe. Um, right, let's get defensive tactics because it kind of leads towards the direction we want. Naval tradition. We will want to kill some stuff with quadriremes. I want the quadriremes to do stuff like clear out these barb camps. Unfortunately, when, when do I get access? Yeah, I don't get privateers until really quite a bit later from now. That's going to severely limit the strategies available to me. You go ahead and attack there in a card. Free trade route plunder too. That means I could buy the granary in here, which is partially what's holding the city's back a little bit. It needs some builder charges, but it's also limited. But we can improve this and then improve that, and then we've got some pretty good stuff going. That's not what I meant to do. Wake up. So soon a card will fall. We do have barbarians we need to deal with. Eureka score, Eureka score, Eureka score. Um, I'm going to have to get quadrireums in some of my other cities, so I'll spend a bit of time in these cities getting them as well. You put a mine there, and then I'm going to improve those turtles. 
We have really good culture and science yields right now from our tiles. I'm pretty happy about that. You head over this way, you might be able to like find a defensible tile and just camp on it. Let's pull you back, pull you in, attack there. Pull you across. What's down here? Anything worth while? Not really. Let's keep that city of Akkad. Uh, let's grab ourselves a warrior to go try and clear this out. You have mostly food tiles, which is neat. We do only need two farms now to get the uh, boost to feudalism, which is interesting because uh, feudal feudalism boost isn't built. Uh, Six farms, it's have six farms is more accurate. So you can actually conquer farms and use them to get that. All right, so soon we will have the Ancestral Hall, which will allow us to get settlers really, really quickly. Mainly from our capital. Um, and we have the Navy to defend those settlers as we go about our business. Ah, uh, yeah, but I think this is, a, this is a pretty good opening episode. We got 62 turns into the game. We have quite the Navy already. We have conquered three cities. We're up to, we're, we have five cities at, at 60 turns in, and we're just about start, to start building settlers. So I think this is a pretty good start to a Dido game. I'm very, very happy with it. We probably could fit two cities onto this island. We could fit a city over here. We could fit at least three cities in this land. We could maybe fit a city over here. Could be potential if this all counts as the same continent. No, it's actually a different continent, but this is the same continent, which is very interesting. Um, we could maybe fit a city in over here on uh, Saladin's land, but we might we might, might leave him alone. We've got a lot of exploration to do. We have found a plenty. I, I think the game is off to a great start. I'm really, I think this is going to be an interesting game. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel and remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.